Create a pender data frame by appending one row at a time. How do I create an empty data frame, then add rows, one by one? I created an empty data frame. Then I can add a new row at the end and fill a single field with. It works for only one field at a time. What is a better way to add new row to DF? You can use df.lock.i, where the row with index i will be what you specify it to be in the data frame. In case you can get all data for the data frame up front, there is a much faster approach than appending to a data frame. Create a list of dictionaries in which each dictionary corresponds to an input data row. Create a data frame from this list. I had a similar task for which appending to a data frame row by row took 30 minutes, and creating a data frame from a list of dictionaries completed within seconds. In the case of adding a lot of rows to data frame, I am interested in performance. So I tried the four most popular methods and checked their speed. Performance. Using dot append, NPE's answer. Using dot LOC, Fred's answer. Using dot LOC with pre-allocating, Fubar's answer. Using dict and create data frame in the end, Chikadua's answer. Runtime results, in seconds. So I use addition through the dictionary for myself. Code. P.S. I believe my realization isn't perfect, and maybe there is some optimization that could be done. You could use pandas.concat. For details and examples, see merge, join, and concatenate. For example, from pandas is greater than or equal to 2.0, append has been removed. Dataframe.append was deprecated in version 1.4 and removed from the Pandas API entirely in version 2.0. See the docs on deprecations as well as this GitHub issue that originally proposed its deprecation. If you are running Pandas version 2.0 or later, you will likely run into the following error. Keep reading if you would like to learn about more idiomatic alternatives to append. Never grow a data frame. Yes, people have already explained that you should never grow a data frame, and that you should append your data to a list and convert it to a data frame once at the end. But do you understand why? Here are the most important reasons, taken from my post here. It is always cheaper slash faster to append to a list and create a data frame in one go. Lists take up less memory and are a much lighter data structure to work with append and remove. Types are automatically inferred for your data. On the flip side, creating an empty frame of NANs will automatically make them object, which is bad. An index is automatically created for you, instead of you having to take care to assign the correct index to the row you are appending. This is the right way to accumulate your data. Note that if some underscore function underscore that underscore yields underscore data returns smaller data frames, you can accumulate individual data frames inside a list and then make a single call to pd.concat at the end. These options are horrible. Append or concat inside a loop. Append and concat aren't inherently bad in isolation. The problem starts when you iteratively call them inside a loop this results in quadratic memory usage. Empty data frame of NANs. 
Never create a data frame of NANs as the columns are initialized with Object, slow, unvectorizable type The proof is in the pudding. Timing these methods is the fastest way to see just how much they differ in terms of their memory and utility. Benchmarking code for reference. It's posts like this that remind me why I'm a part of this community. People understand the importance of teaching folks getting the right answer with the right code, not the right answer with wrong code. Now you might argue that it is not an issue to use lock or append if you're only adding a single row to your data frame. However, people often look to this question to add more than just one row, often the requirement is to iteratively add a row inside a loop using data that comes from a function, see related question. In that case it is important to understand that iteratively growing a data frame is not a good idea. Philosophy, Joe.